What up, players? It's Warboss Day up in this mug. Today I have a very, very special unboxing for you. I just got in the mail this morning a package, and it had three specially wrapped miniatures inside of it. The first one was this one, which I'm showing you right now. And there were two others, which I will be doing separate unboxings for as the days pass. One of them looks like this. And the other looks like this. So as you can see, they're in special edition, collector's edition clamshells. And if you remember my sp uh, Skin Wolf from last year's Spookytoberfest challenge, this was the same kind of package that it came in, individually sealed clamshells. So this is another collector's item and it was sent to me by Houndmaster14. The Houndmaster14, his channel is linked below if you have, for some reason, have not heard of him. And he was just amazing enough to send me these. He knows that I'm a collector and that I um, am really uh, interested in these one-of-a-kind models. And I, for my birthday, for a birthday present, he sent these to me this, um, this, this week. I just... I got them in the mail today, and I'm just still blown away by how generous he has been. So this is the first one we're going to look at. The event only 2013 Warrior Priest. I already cut open the clamshell and be using it as a trusty wet palette for the foreseeable future. And now let's take a look at what you get in the kit. First you get a square 20 millimeter base, nothing special there, closed off, like not open slotted anymore. Very exciting, but here we go. Let's look at the detail on the different sprues you get. So this is the first one. How close can we get in with this? This is the lower half of the priest's body. You've got what looks like chain mail under cloth with a Hourglass here in the center, a skull, a bird skull, lots of belts with intricate, look at all the detailing on the belts. He's got like three belts that are looped over and under each other. Just amazing detail, amount of detail in the sculpt. And a little chain hanging down which holds a little lockbox over here. So maybe some sacred incense, holy water, the ashes of a, of a saint or something that he's carrying along with him for his travels. For the, uh, let's take a look at this, left arm here, another skull hanging down, twin-tailed comet emblazoned on the shoulder pad there. A little bit of a mold line, but beautiful, beautiful work. Got two hammers here, different make, one is two flat heads and one is a pick at one end and the hammer on the other end. Wood grain, looks like wood grain on this side and yeah, on both of them they look like wood grain on the handles. <clears throat> and finally we've got the torso, head and left or right arm. There's a little bit of a look at the face. This beautifully sculpted head. Chainmail sleeve. Fantastic. All right, so I'm going to put the model together now, try to put it together, and we'll get back together at the end of the video. And there he is, all built up. <clears throat> Our warrior priest took a little bit of cleaning to do. Um, and I had to put him back into the hot water or warm water with soap to get some of that release agent off because some of the pieces weren't sticking together when you glue them. And that could be just because there's still mold release agent on it. So make sure that you wash your pieces with warm water and dishwashing soap and get all of that um, stuff off the resin. Make it ready to paint. So I'm looking forward to it. Thank you again, Houndmaster14 and um, what a great birthday present this is. Stay tuned for more unboxings from the Houndmaster 14's care package, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Latest players!